Hello again, everyone. Well, penultimate day today, 30th. The 30th die of the 2023 Gummy Pan Advent Calendar. And this is what we've got. We've got a disco ball. We've got a boom box radio and a pair of roller skates. Something I've never quite managed to uh, accomplish is roller skates. I have been on ice skates and I, you know, may have damaged my back that way, but that's fine. <laughs> never could manage roller skates, but here we go. Um, just as before I start, I've had lots of comments um, about what I mentioned yesterday about, you know, asking people if they do watch, if they could sub could subscribe. And lots of people have said to me that they subscribed when they first came across my channel. But when they looked after yesterday's video, they were unsubscribed. And it seems that YouTube just randomly takes away subscriptions from people. I don't know why or how, but if you could check, that would be amazing. Um, it does make me sad to see, you know, the numbers of subscribers reduce, I have to say. I think, well, you know, is it me? But I don't think it is necessarily the, the content of my videos, which is causing the problem, but it may well be a quirk of, of YouTube. So if you could check, um, and if you've, you know you've subscribed, just check that you still are subscribed. That would be wonderful. Anyway, that's that one, said it. But it's it's interesting to me, the number of people who've actually mentioned that. So I don't know how, they've said I should perhaps contact YouTube. I've got no idea how you'd contact YouTube to say what's going on, but anyway. Here we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these out and I thought for these I would colour them with metallic watercolour paints. We'll see how we go on. I've got a card base here and I thought I would do it this way this time. I've got a small panel because I had a, <laughs> a piece of card left and it couldn't, wouldn't quite make the size of my normal one which is the, this die. Let me show you. This is a, a Sussex Framelit, and that's the die that I use. And the Sussex Framelit's nesting rectangles, number two, fits British sizes. But this one is the next size down because the piece of card I had was a bit smaller. So I thought, well, I'll just use it. And I have a slightly smaller panel, so it makes for a change, doesn't it? So let me just cut these out. I should have done this beforehand, really, but, um, you know, I've got things on my mind one way and another. So let's cut these out and then we'll let's see about colouring. Oh, that's tough. Right. What I was thinking of doing with my panel, I'm not a great one for scoring. You see lots of people doing, you know, scored lines across um, cards. And to me, sometimes they just look like scored lines for the sake of it, really, they put them around the edge and across the corners and all sorts. And, and I don't, I don't see the point. But because there's all oh, that done now, has that cut properly? No, but just I think no, it hasn't. I'm gonna have to do that again. Let me just pop this back on to get it in exactly the same place. Did I go both ways? I don't remember. Let's just see. If I use a small one of these. Let's see if we're okay now. Yep, that's done it beautifully. That is excellent. If I can get it off my mat. There we go. Oops. There we are. Okay, there's my radio. It's very detailed, isn't it? It's got these speakers and the tape deck here and the knobs and buttons and goodness knows what. It's fabulous. So, um, we have a disco ball. And we have these skates. Let me cut out some more, actually. I'll probably want more than one layer, won't I? So let's just do the whole thing again. Should have done this before I started the video to save you time. But we learn by our mistakes, don't we? And I often make them. Okay. 
make sure these have a good, a good go through. Sometimes, of course, if you go both ways with dies, they can jump out and then you get a double cut and they're a waste of time. So you have to be a little circumspect. Okay, there's a pair of... Oh no, I think that's all right. I wondered, let me just see. That one has moved, going both ways. That's just what I was talking about. If you go both ways in a, a die cut machine, there and back, sometimes a die can shift marginally, and this one did. So which one was that? That's, that's this one. Let's cut this one out again. And you get, you know, either a double cut or something. And I can see that that one wasn't right straight away. Let's hope this one stayed. That's better. There we are. Yeah, that's better. Where's the one I'm throwing away? This one. Yep. Okay, so I've got my, I have my couple of radios and I have two balls and some skates. Now, what I thought I would do, I was starting to talk about scored lines and I think because this is kind of musical related, I would just draw five lines, not draw, score five lines across here because music on a stave the notes are put onto five lines or the spaces in between. So I've got my, an old, this is an old Stampin' Up scoreboard and the, uh, the lines for scoring are every eighth of an inch. So they're really quite close together, which is great for my purposes. I want them fairly close together. So this is also, this is a, um, a stamping up scoring tool or embossing tool. So I think I'll start about, about where? I'd, I want this these lines to be about a third of the way down the, the front panel. So let's try there. And I want to do it on the other side, don't I? Think, what are you doing? Yes. I want the lines to stick up, not to stick down, because the, the, the scoring side is the side which is a bit kind of rough. The side that comes on the underside when you're scoring is the, is the, the neat side. Doesn't, you can do either, of course, whichever you want, but I'm, I want it the other way up. I only just thought of it in time. There we go. Whoops. There we go. And the next one. They seem incredibly close together doing it like this, but they work out just right. Yeah, they're just an eighth of an inch apart. I do I still use this score sometimes. This is my scoring line for a five inch card. I do that so I don't have to look every time, check which line I'm scoring on. Right, here's my fifth line. There, it should be okay. So there I've got five lines and that's just going to, to sort of divide up the front panel of my card. So what I was thinking was, I would have the skate, or was, uh, well, not a pair, two left feet, like that. I thought we would have the radio like this. We would have the disco ball, roller disco hanging down somewhere maybe like that and I dug out a happy birthday die like that for the top really quite simple but as I say I thought I would colour these with um, metallic watercolour paints and I've got this set here which I've had for ages and ages Yashutomo Japanese, I would suspect. But if you notice in here, there's one, one of these um, palettes. What do you call? What do you call these things? Tablets, or I can't think what you call a 
a thing of watercolor um, paint, but one is missing. It's obviously broken and gone the way of all flesh, but I thought I would make a new one. And the way I would make a new one would be to use luscious powders. Here's my luscious powders and the colour I thought I would use, thinking that there isn't one quite there, is this, this kind of bright red. I thought that might be quite nice for the, for the skates. This one's called raspberry. So I'm going to make a new cake. Is that what they call it? Perhaps it is a cake. Let's see. Here's my luscious powder. But what I'm going to do first is just put some water into this pan. Okay, now I'll get something to dig out some luscious powder. What will happen here is that this will make up a kind of paint, but just left, it will dry and it will become like one of these. So that any time I want to use this colour, I can come to this paint box and just use it in the ordinary way that I would any of these other colours. And I may have put too much water in, but we'll see. It's going to be a bit of a job to make sure that it's all thoroughly mixed. And the test of whether you've got the right amount of powder to water is the depth of colour that you find when you come to to use it on a piece of watercolour paper card or whatever it happens to be. I'm still going strongly here. I'll probably speed this up a little bit so that you don't have to wait too long for me <laughs> to get it to the right consistency. I will just test this on a little piece of scrap to see if the colour is intense enough. That's perfect. I will clean up the rest of that at, at some point in the future. But this is perfectly fine for me to use to colour my boots. So let me just see what we can do. And if I just leave that, of course, it will just set hard, just like the other, the other cakes. Okay. Let's try. Okay, there's one. Pretty colour. Okay, right, there's the boots. Just rinse my brush. Now for the radio, the boom box, the tape, report, whatever you call, care to call it, I thought I would just cut out the speakers and then we can either colour them from beneath or put them back in again once they've been coloured. So let's just see where the... The little snippy bits are, there's one, there's two, and this one, and 
One. And two. I thought I'd have a slightly lighter colour than the, than the rest. You could actually take that tape out as well if you wanted and have separate tapes. I don't think I'm going to do that today. Just leave it as is. Be careful, that's got a tiny middle bit that's separated. There's the middle bit out of this one. But the one below will show, so that, that should be fine. If, it, if I lose that, it doesn't matter. In fact, it might be rather better if I do. And I'm going to colour that the back of this one. Um, just in, in those two places, in case it is slightly off. Let me put this out of the way. I did get some Gummy Upon um, music notation there as well, in, just in case that was going to be required. So let's have a look. I want to use this very dark one just here. So I'll just make sure my brush is clean. I'll get some of this. Oh, not very clean, is it? Let's get a piece of paper towel. That red really got into it, didn't it? I suppose I was mixing it for so long. Okay, let's get some of this deep charcoal-y sort of colour. I just want to do, for the back one, just those bits behind the behind the these two bits of speaker things whatever they are this one's not quite cut through there we go those are the only two bits i want to do on this back bit i might do the edges just to make sure that the edges look like they're um covered so that bit there and that bit there um, yeah, we'll go around the edges just so that there's, if, if the other layer shows, it won't matter. Okay, that's all I want to do for that one. Now this one, I think I want the whole of it black or charcoal, whatever this colour is. Hold this for the pokey tool. This month has been a real marathon. Absolute marathon, but we've just about got there. I've got to get the guest room ready for my brother-in-law and his wife coming for New Year's with uh, some of our friends. And... Uh, do we need anything else black? No, I need to have the lighter colour, the, the sort of this one, I think, or even this one. Should I do this one for the, I think I'd do the same colour for the um, disco ball. Let me do the back disco ball with this. Because what I want to do is pop out Pop out the um, the little bits in this. Can you see there's little things like this? So if I pop those out and have the this this dark colour, I'm cleaning my brush now, haven't I? The way I always seem to do something. Oh my goodness! Let's just see. Do this light on the top and the dark one just showing through. Hopefully, right. That one showing through. Um, uh, yeah, I'll do this one for the top layer. This takes quite a bit of time to activate, actually. Right, let's try this. Lot more. I was sensible. I would have done the light colours first, wouldn't I? Never think. Always think too late. Hindsight is a wonderful thing, isn't it? Right. 
Something like that's the right way up, I think. Very difficult to see. Okay. These pieces are so small. Oh, goodness. And we'll have the, the two bits of the speaker the same colour. Okay. I think they're kind of... No, I've just got to do this one black, haven't I? To go behind there. Right. Oh, dear. I should have thought about doing the colours in the right order. I'm getting the, my uh, water dirty. There's a lovely bit of twinkle in this paint, actually. All we need is the actual bits, but... Oh, don't worry. Just cover the lot. It's easier. Okay. There we go. Shouldn't leave my brush in the water, should I? Right, let's move that away. Got to keep it flat because the red that I've just been using here hasn't set. So, where are we up to? I need to join some of these layers together. So, I think I actually use this glue. That's that one. Actually looks quite nice with the with just the white showing, doesn't it? Let's put the speakers back in. There we go. And I don't know if there's any glue around this bit, but well, let's just put a little bit on. This will dry clear, so that inner circle, bit of black should show through once it's dry, says she, hopefully. One and get the bit out, that's it. There we go. So there's our radio. I'm just going to give that a little tap with a wet wipe just to get rid of any excess um, glue. There we go. Made a bit of a mess of that one there, I think, actually. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Right. Stick this one onto this one. I'm using this glue because I'm not quite sure how the regular zig glue will react on top of this lustery paint. This one should do it, you know, should ho ho hold it better, I believe. Right, there's that one. And you can see those things show through, which is rather nice. And we'll shape this and put this on a piece of foam so that it... Uh, keeps its shape. I'll have to give a bit of a clean up. Right, put these next. Join these together. There we are. Now, I believe the little bit in the instep needs to come out so that this bit here, that's it. And this one here. There we go. 
now it's simply a matter of assembling the card. It's going to go on this panel. So what I was envisaging was that like that, these like this, that up there. I'm just wondering if I need to add some of that paint to these escape wheels. And then the three are kind of linked in a way. They'll all have some of this, this colour. Perhaps I'll try it. Let's see. I've got a skinnier brush here. Let's try this chap. I think I've done and then I just go off on a tangent, don't I? Right, let's just see. Might have to do the lot and then go over with the red again. I think that's the easiest way. Actually, it shows through all right, doesn't it? I think that will do. There we go. That's better. Right. Now, those, I have to be careful because these are a bit wet. Those to go there when they're dry. I put these on a little bit of foam tape. This one will need a little tiny thread going through there. And for that, I think I'll use a little bit of silver. And it's just, I don't think I want, I don't know if I want these. These are a bit big, aren't they? These music notes there. I think that's a bit going to be a bit too much. I'll just do the happy birthday for this. I may have to um, paint this black like that, I think. Let's just see. Let's just have a look at this. Get it off my mat. Right. Happy birthday to go there. Let's try it in the in the black. Where's my paints? Here we go. Brush. I'll try the bigger one. Move that out of the way. Now I'm going to have to wait, obviously, until this is dry. So Remember to keep this flat. That can go on here and it's dry. That'd be fine. So I can't do it yet because I've got to wait until it's dry. But what I will do is assemble the card, take a picture and put it on the end of the video. So hopefully you can see it. I had to save the last one twice yesterday because I forgot to put to put that picture on but I got there in the end anyway day 30 one more day to go one more day to go so thank you so much for being with me on this journey this this year it's been it's been <laughs> quite quite a an adventure with the, all the celebrations and goodness knows what that have been going on this year so thank you for thank you for joining me and uh, one more day I'll see you tomorrow thanks for watching